Welcome. EKWB combined a pump, a reservoir, and a CPU water block into a single custom loop component. In this episode, we are water cooling an Intel 12400F and an NVIDIA PNY reference RTX 3080 in a meshlicious SFF small form factor ITX case. We will build a custom loop using components from EKWB, Heat Killer, AquaCool, and Aqua Computer. We will end with a leak test and temperature results from a thermal test. This is the Vector Network, and let's begin. This EK Quantum Velocity Square Pump Reservoir Water Block Combo is for Intel LGA 1700 socket-based motherboards. Included inside the box is thermal paste and the combo block itself. The CPU water block has an integrated DDC 4.2 PWM pump and also a small reservoir. The i5 12400F 6 quart 65 watt processor will be used. Let's use the Gigabyte Z690i AORUS Ultra Light Mini ITX motherboard with the LGA 1700 socket for the Intel 12th gen CPUs. First, let's remove the integrated loading mechanism, ILM. Drop in the 12400F. Add the Thermalright Intel 12th Gen LGA 1700 socket bending corrector frame. This motherboard uses a board-to-board -board BTB plug for the M.2 slots. Drop in the Samsung 970 EVO Plus Gen 4 NVMe. On the back is another slot. Drop in the ADATA XPG Gen 3 NVMe. Let's peel off the film on the thermal pad and drop it in the motherboard. Here's another peel and let's secure the heatsink to the motherboard. Let's use the EKWB EK Quantum Torque fittings in black nickel and add two compression fittings for soft tubing. Noctua thermal paste will be used on the 12400F. The water block uses the EK exact mount mounting system. Apply the back plate. Peel and sandwich the front and back together. There are concealed pretension springs in the top of the block that allows for even mounting pressure with the thumb screws. Add in 32 gigabytes Corsair DDR4 3600 mega transfers memory. The EK CPU water block combo unit removes the need for dedicated pump and reservoir. We are using the SSUPD Meshlicious Mini ITX case with the PCIe 4.0 riser cable. Let's use the Heat Killer 5 water block with the PNY RTX 3080 and Micro EK Quantum Torque 90 degree fittings. Drop the reference RTX 3080 into the case. The Alpha Cool 280mm ST30 full copper radiator will be used with 90 degree T splitter, train port, and 45 degree fittings for the inlet and outlet. On the back, let's add a coolant sensor. Two 140 millimeter Be Quiet Silent Wing 3 PWM fans will be used to cool the radiator. To continue with the build, let's first drop in the Alpha Cool radiator next to the two Be Quiet fans. After that, we can plug and push in the eight radiator screws into placeholder positions. With the radiator and fans in the right position, we can then screw each of the eight screws down into place. The Aqua Computer Quadro will be used to control the custom loop. Let's drop in the Corsair SF750 80 Plus Platinum Small Form Factor Power Supply. Into the Quadro controller, plug in the USB, fans, pump, and sensors. Next, add in the main 24 pin motherboard power plug and route in the 8 pin CPU and GPU cables, making space for the soft tubing. For the runs, we are using 10 millimeter inner diameter and 13 millimeter outer diameter soft tubing. Since the CPU block is also the reservoir and pump, we only need three tubes to complete the custom loop. The DDC pump is situated on top of the CPU block and with thermal pads uses the nickel plated brass top as a heat sink. Let's get ready for the leak test. First, let's unplug the CPU and GPU power cables and add a jumper to the main 24 pin cable. For coolant, the Aqua Computer Double Protect Ultra in blue. During the leak test, two large air bubbles accumulated right in the middle of the flow path. The case is small enough where we can completely flip it over to move those air bubbles around. After the leak test is the thermal test. For each testing run, 3D Mark Times by Extreme Stress Test was run and the coolant, GPU, and memory temperatures in Celsius were recorded by the Aqua Computer AquaSuite software. Three testing runs were done 
and the Delta GPU core and GPU memory and coolant temperatures between under load and at ambient were recorded and the averages obtained across the three runs. These tests were run with the Meshlicious case full mesh version with all the sides on. During the stress test, the GPU core temperature rose 32 degrees Celsius from an ambient 21 degrees to 53 degrees Celsius under load. In addition, the memory rose 38 degrees Celsius from an ambient 30 degrees to 68 degrees Celsius under load. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for a notification when the next episode airs. Click on the links here for more videos. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.